It's cold, it's wet, but you want to know some catalysts for the VTOL industry. I do apologize, you'll probably hear ducks in the background there. But yeah, you want to know some catalysts for the VTOL industry. Yeah, let's speak about it. Day 18, day 18 of this eVTOL challenge. Guys, do smash that like button pretty early on. We're doing Archer Joby, Vertical Aerospace, Horizon Aircraft, you name it, the eVTOL industry, we're doing it every single day. So do smash that subscribe button. 4,167 of us now. So if you don't want to miss it, do smash that subscribe button. But yeah, Catalyst. And look, I'm not going to be boring, guys. I'm not just going to straight up say FAA certification. Because to me, this is probably the last Catalyst we'll be thinking of today. Now, look, the VTOL industry growing very, very quickly. But we're going to focus primarily on Archer and Joby just because that's what most of you guys are in. But we will give a mention to the likes of Horizon Aircraft and beta technology, circular aerospace, etc. So my first main catalyst coming up is the EIPP program. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about EIPP because we have been speaking about that a lot over the last while. But EIPP is the eVTOL Integrated Pilot Program on about reducing the restrictions that the FAA is putting on the likes of Archer and Joby, making it less stringent and able to run test flights in various cities. Now, these cities are to be announced, but we can more or less assume that Archer and Joby will be leading the way and we can expect the likes of Los Angeles, Florida, Miami, the likes of that to take place. This is going to be announced in, we're presuming February for the five partners. And these will be American partners. The two main guys, look, they're more or less certain going to be there. So that could run the star court. Now, I'm not expecting a massive, massive move there, but it is something that we need to keep an eye on. Next up, it will be Archer's specific and that is it's not going to surprise you it's the vertical takeoff and landing with a pilot on board joby successfully completed this but look without that archer aviation is a no-go when it comes to operation especially with passengers on board so that will be the next main catalyst we'll be looking for and that will run the stock up that's what's holding the stock back at the moment that and the lawsuit but i actually think it is the vertical takeoff and land that's holding the stock back at the moment Next up, it applies to both Archer and Joby. But Archer this week had some very interesting news. Adam Goldstein was at the EOBB building in Washington. Now, I have an update on this. So we said this could be due to military contracts. And when you zoom in, people were saying it's only PR. But when you zoom in on the picture, you can see it's an appointment for the EOBB building so you don't just get an appointment for no reason there now one of the creators that we do speak with very closely nicole josephine actually shared this on x last night and it's one of her trusted colleagues now as we can see here archer aviation is in talks with the department of defense and we even have a corporal there if i remember speaking about that the next era of warfighters and archer aviation are helping very closely with drone technology now we haven't heard anything about this in public information so that is another catalyst look is it going to be the likes of the omen drone are we speaking about the andrel hybrid with archer or is this something completely different is the department of defense gonna create their own drone with a separate company and actually license out Archer's technology because we know that's how they do it with the Omen drone. So that's a very interesting thing to look out for. We know the likes of Department of Defense contracts can be massive, up near the billion dollars. We know L3 Harris with Joby Aviation very recently got a contract for 843 million for 18 satellites for the SDA. So that is something to look out for. Joby Aviation, 
are very closely linked with the military. We know they've already delivered two S-4s to the Edwards Air Force Base. We never got an update on what's happening there, so it's very interesting to see. Are they interested in the S-4, or were they just waiting for further development? However, with L-3 Harris, they are creating their own hybrid. So that is much different than the electric S-4. Then going across, we have another catalyst. So we day 18, can't believe it, my guys. Do you know what? Smash that subscribe button. We are growing, growing bigger than I ever thought. And do you know what? Show your appreciation. I want 300 likes. My first ever video, 300 likes. Do smash that like button. But yeah, guys, let's get back into it. So we have the likes of the launch partner in the UAE. But the UAE is a very interesting topic. Joby Aviation looking to roll out there in Q3 of 2026. And Archer Aviation have not changed their timeline. They are looking for also roll out in Q3 in the UAE. Now this will all depend on the vertical takeoff and landing with a pilot on board. But Joby Aviation it is one of the biggest catalysts of the year. If we see them roll out in Q3 in the UAE, we can really start to get excited about this whole industry i actually think the uae will get rolled out before faa certification here yes the us wanted to be there first but i think money talks doesn't it uae will get there first then we have the likes of faa certification look joby aviation will hit that this year i could more or less put my house on it archer aviation we're looking for 2027 so just think when joby aviation do hit certification it will get excitement in the industry i do expect the whole industry to push up at that stage but then we could see quite a bit of volatility in archer aviation because joby are more or less signifying look we're here to stay and it kind of puts questions on archer aviation if you're not a strong long-term investor in them then that's not where it ends once fea certification is achieved then we need to look at manufacturing ramp up Joby Aviation has very recently acquired their second manufacturing facility in Dayton. So then it all comes down to how much are they going to manufacture. They're saying they're going to manufacture four per month in 2027. It doesn't, it would not surprise me if we see that number accelerate massively once FEA certification is approved because. That is all they have to concentrate on then, and then get in rollout. We'll then start getting more of an idea on the pricing system that Joby Aviation is going to go after. And then Archer Aviation, that's when they really need to push forward then with FAA certification. The longer they leave it, the longer Joby will have that edge on them. Horizon Aircraft looking at them, we're thinking that, look, we're not going to get any major, major contracts until we start seeing the Cavra X7 come into the end phase of that prototype build out. What we need to keep an eye on there is just any grants they get. They are quite good at um, acquiring grants from Canada. But really, you're just looking at the development phase of the Cavra X7. I'm not actually as worried about cash. I think they have 24 million now sitting in the bank. So, Horizon Aircraft are doing pretty well. Vertical Aerospace, we need to sort of just keep an eye on them. They're starting to do their transitions. When it comes to their flight testing, they look actually further ahead than Archer Aviation. But are they going to struggle a little bit because they're a UK-based company? Where does the likes of FAA certification fit? Or are they just going to maintain UK and Europe at the moment? I'm expecting them to go down more of a cargo route. But then their new Velo Aircraft will be more passengers then. Beta technologies, yes, we just need to keep an eye on how the electric vertical takeoff alia is playing out. We know they have their CTOL configuration that's already flying and it is doing bits. They have like their contract with UPS. I'm sure I read somewhere they had ties with United Airlines as well for cargo. So I need to dive into them a little bit more. Do let me know if I have missed any catalysts and what catalysts are you most excited about? And then meet me later on for EV Toll Weekly.